September 9, 2008, with more Web 2.0 news you can use on Brad Fallon. First up, Overlay.tv is a new startup that lets you grab any web video and start adding content on top of it. You can make any video interactive, display ads, and include hyperlinks to other websites. Overlay.tv is easy to set up and free to use. And you can check out their retro YouTube video. It's an infomercial, but it's funny and informative. Next, if you think that YouTube's web design is pretty lacking in some areas, you might like the new website BufferMe. Using YouTube's API, BufferMe brings a faster, more intuitive user experience to YouTube. Right now, BufferMe is in closed beta, but expect that to change very soon. And of course, a day doesn't go by without more news from Google's Chrome. In a recent interview with Sergey Brin, it came out that Chrome will be available on Android, Google's forthcoming mobile phone platform. Next, if you were impressed with the new online slideshow program, 280 Slides, and you wondered how they build it, you're in luck. They released their own programming language called Cappuccino. It's based on Apple's Objective-C, and it's a powerful yet completely free programming environment. And finally, we've talked about Yahoo Boss at the Freeline Report before. This programming toolkit is supposed to let you create cool mashups and your own search engines using Yahoo's API. Until now, doing this required knowledge of different programming languages and tools. But now Yahoo's released buildasearch.com, a website specifically created to overcome the learning curve required to use Yahoo Boss. Do you want to create a sports-specific search engine? Just a few clicks of the mouse and you're done. Until next time, I'm Brad Fallon. Thanks for watching and tune in tomorrow for all the Web 2.0 news you can use in 2.0 minutes. For Web 2.0 news you can use in 2.0 minutes, visit FreelineReport.com.